Good morning, folks. Rugby World Cup game number two, Namibia against Italy. I'm recording this halftime England Argentina's game, so I'll try and be quick. 52 8. Um, yeah, pretty emphatic scoreline, although I feel like Italy dropped a lot of ball and uh, Namibia were actually maybe better value, but there's some tries like 74, 78, 83 kind of blow the scoreline out a little bit maybe fitness at the end of the game a little bit of a difference making Namibia started well man they got themselves a penalty they went through like 12 phases but then they conceded a penalty themselves so exchange of penalties 3-3 early a bit of respect uh shown from the Italians towards the Namibian guys um but then Italian 50-22 a mall advantage that Van Jasveld getting a yellow card probably didn't help the Namibian cause. Uh, Lorenzo Canone went over after an extended period of Italian pressure, so 10-3. Um, and then it got worse for the Namibians. No hooker. Richard Hardwick has to make a throw-in. It goes to Italian hands. They spin it to Garbisi. 17-3. It's looking like it's going to be an absolute rout, but the Namibians show a bit of metal to, uh, to come back. They have a bit of pressure of their own. They win a kicking duel. Which is pleasing because, I mean, that guy Swanee Paul's got a bit of a big old boot on him. And, um, yeah, they got themselves a scrum in the Italian half. They pass wide uh, some phases and eventually that man Mouton goes over on the right wing during the yellow card as well. So emphatic thumbs up from me for that one. 17-8, but that's the only scoring from the Namibians, sadly. The rest of the game is going to be all the Italians. But it's not like they didn't have chances. Um, they just kept losing the ball in the sun. <laughs> it was really weird. Uh, and that first half, the Namibian guys were, were looking straight into the sun for all these high kicks. And, um, yeah, they, they said multiple times they kept losing the ball there. But they were able to win pressure at the breakdown. Um, but then when they would get some go for they would knock it on. Italians got their scrum going, and it just started a bit of a momentum shift. Um, the Namibians couldn't live with them at scrum time. And then the Italians would knock it on. Uh, Namibia had a shot for 55 meters before half time. Had the distance, yes. Had the accuracy, no. So it's 17 8 at half time. 17 8, man, that's a game. It's still pretty comfortable. Remember, one of those tries has been an absolute gift from a, a missed line out throw. So yeah, 17 8 still a game. The Namibians have had more carries, they've had more run meters, but they've also conceded more penalties. But the Italians have had to make 73 tackles to 44, but the Namibians have missed 11 tackles to 6. So, yeah, despite the fact they've had to make less tackles, they've missed more tackles, which is, I guess, maybe the difference between, uh, you know, the level of the sides. Second half, it's the Italians' turn to get a bit of sun in their eyes, but they still win scrum penalties. Line out there, more gets stopped, but, um, yeah, eventually they go through some phases. They get themselves another one. This one's through Dino Lamb, 22-8. I mean, Namibia is still fighting. They're still making some chances. That halfback Stevens, we chip and chase until he can see the penalty on their own line. But um, Italians were able to kind of win a penalty on defense to get themselves out of jail. And um, then, like, score a minute later. Maybe the kind of the wonder try that you expect to see more of in this game was the the wide one from, um, you know, Kapuozzo into space to Ioane back to Kapuozzo for a try like we didn't see that much of that kind of play from Italy as I said we did see like a dog will get one at the end the Zuliani one was kind of similar open space but yeah as I said they had to kind of work for it for 70 plus minutes to be able to get that one barring the couple what's one which comes at 55 which is um you know it's it's when the Italian hands finally finally stuck um so yeah 31 8 the Italian scrum is just getting free penalties, basically five meter line out. Looks like Riccioni's gone over for one, but there's a knock on in the build up. Namibia have a couple of chances for a five meter line out. The first one, um, they miss the line out. The second one, they get stopped, but they get an advantage. And the third one, the Namibians essentially put the entire side into the mall, but the Italians still manage to stop it. So it's a turnover. So good play from the Italians not to concede any kind of consolation tries. They clearly wanted to get the points difference as good as they can get it. Fiverr got one for Italy. Um, you know, Italy, the backs went close, but the Fords finished that one. Usually it's the reverse, so 38-8. Score blows out when Pagerello snipes right, gets it to Zuliani, who goes over for a good finish. He's got some good gas for a loose forward, 45-8. And then as the clock goes into the red, neither side wants to kick it out, apparently, despite the fact that they are absolutely walking because it's so hot and they're tired. Uh, Odogu, one of the subs who's come on, has got more gas than most and a bit more gas in the tank, um, 52-8. 
good try and a good conversion at the death so yeah man seven tries from the italians big old bonus point win certainly meet expectations run meters finished 679 to 325 so they blew it out in the second half they finished with 12 clean breaks to two 42 defenders beaten to 12 and um, also 19 turnovers conceded to 10 19 turnovers conceded is too high that's the kind of like rust that the Italian guys need to brush off in a game like this before they have their kind of two bigger games towards the end of the pool stage. So good for the Italians to, to do that now, I think, and they still managed to get a very good result. Capuato beats six defenders. Ioani beats four. Canone Lorenzo, that's, he beats four. Um, Lamaro makes 19 tackles out of 19. Hardwick make, beats five defenders and make eight from 10. Uh, Retief, the flanker, makes seven from eight. But yeah, good effort from Namibia at times. But um, as I said, across the course of the 80, um, yeah, the Italians were just too good. And um, yeah, the soft try from Hardwick's line-out throw is a bit of an unfortunate one. Makes the scoreline look a bit worse. But yeah, they certainly showed some promise. And um, could have had a try or two more if they get that big mall one. If, uh, if they don't knock it on. Um, if Stevens is able to regather that dink. has a few opportunities. But yeah, not to be. You guys let us know your thoughts. I'm off to watch the other games. We will have a look at the Ireland and Romanian one a bit later. I understand the scoreline is rather large. But anyway, you guys take care. Talk to you again soon. See you later.